we want to match the graphs of the ellipses to their correct equations. Before we do this, let's review the standard form for the equation of an ellipse. The standard equation of an ellipse is given here, where a is always greater than b, so notice how if the larger denominator is under the x part of the equation, we have a horizontal major axis, and if a squared the larger denominator is under the y part of the equation, we have a vertical major axis. And the center of the ellipse would have coordinates h comma k. This should be enough information for us to match the graph to the correct equation. Let's find the center of each ellipse and then determine whether it has a horizontal or vertical major axis. So looking at this first ellipse, notice how the center would be this point here, where the coordinates are two comma negative one, and this ellipse has a vertical major axis. Looking at graph B, notice how the center is also two comma negative one, but this ellipse has a horizontal major axis. For graph C, Notice how the center is negative two comma one. And the ellipse has a horizontal major axis. And then finally our fourth ellipse, graph D, has a center of negative two comma one. And has a vertical major axis. Now let's take a look at our four equations. Let's begin by identifying the center. The center for this first ellipse would have an x coordinate of positive two, since we have x minus two, and the y coordinate would be negative one, since we have y plus one. If we want to, we can think of this as y minus negative one. And then because the larger denominator is under the y part of the equation, we have a vertical major axis. So we're looking for an ellipse that has a center of two negative one. Both of these ellipses have a center of two negative one, but this first graph has a vertical major axis, so A is the correct graph for this first equation. Looking at the second equation, the center, h comma k, would have an x coordinate of negative two since we have x plus two, and a y coordinate of positive one since we have y minus one. The larger denominator is under the x part of the equation, so we have a horizontal major axis. So we have a center of negative two comma one, so it has to be one of these two graphs, but because we have a horizontal major axis, C is the correct graph for the second equation. Looking at the next equation, the center would be positive two because we have x minus two, comma, negative one, since we have y plus one. The larger denominator, a squared, is under the x part of the equation, so we have a horizontal major axis. And just to make it a little bit easier, we've already selected graph A and graph C. So we're looking for an ellipse that has a center of two negative one, which is here, and has a horizontal major axis, which it does, so graph B matches our third equation. Which of course means the last equation would have to match graph D. But let's go ahead and check it. The center would have an x coordinate of negative two because we have x plus two, a y coordinate of positive one since we have y minus one. The larger denominator is under the y part of the equation, so we have a vertical major axis which does match graph D, a center of negative two comma one and a vertical major axis. I hope you found this helpful.